Mathematician, in this lesson, you're going to learn to select the correct operation to solve a word problem by using pictures to represent the problem. You know that to solve a word problem, we have to choose an operation, and that most problems have keywords to help us pick the correct operation. The four operations are to add, multiply, subtract, or divide. But how do we know which operation to use? When we solve word problems involving division and subtraction, it can be difficult to select the correct operation. I'm going to explain this idea by showing you with pictures the difference between subtraction and division word problems. When we use subtraction, we're taking away parts of a whole group. So let's say I have nine pretzels, but I eat two of those pretzels, so I actually have to take those two pretzels out of my group. They are no longer part of my total group. Now, I'm left with only seven pretzels. We have decreased the amount in the group. Division is different because we are not changing the amount of the whole group. We are breaking the group into parts. So if I start again with my original nine pretzels, and I break that group up to share it with three friends, so in this division problem, each friend has three pretzels, making it a total of nine pretzels. The value of my total group did not change. So although our group is broken into parts, we still have nine pretzels, which is different than when we subtracted because our value of our total group changed. Let's see how this works in a problem. We ordered 26 slices of pizza for a party. There is enough pizza for each person at the party to have two slices. How many people are at the party? In this example, I have a total number that I want to break down into groups. So if we look at the problem, our total group is 26 slices of pizza. And we want to break that down into equal parts with each part having two slices. So we can look at a picture to do this. In this case, I have 26 slices and I've grouped them into groups of two, or into parts of two. So when I count, I can see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen parts or 13 groups of two, which will give us our 26 slices of pizza. So, I now know that there are 13 people at the party. I did 26 divided by two is equal to 13. If we look back at our picture, we can see that even though we grouped these pieces into groups of two, our total group did not change. Just like in our division problem, we still have 26 as our total group. 13 groups of 2 is equal to 26. If we would have subtracted in this problem, we would have gotten a value of 24. We would have taken away or changed the value of our total group, which is not what we wanted to do. We wanted to break our group into parts. In this lesson, you learn to select the correct operation to solve a word problem by using pictures to represent the problem.